I saw about eight hillers that blocked the road. Over 50 policemen, fully armed. Hallelujah! Amen. Amen. I'm happy to be here again today. I want to thank God for he has done it in my life. Praise the Lord! Brethren, God is in this place. And I want everyone that is here, believe in the Lord your God. Believe in the prophet. Amen. You will prosper. Amen. The God that has done it for me, for my family, for my loved ones, that same God will defend you this month. Amen. Some time ago, I lost my elder brother. The pain was much on me. The load was much on me. And in that process, I locate the prophet. I came here, he prayed for me, prayed for my family, and gave us assurance that it's over. And I believed him. And my brethren, I want to tell you of a truth. God is here. Amen. Last month, we did the burial. I traveled from here to the east. We did all arrangements. I asked God for money. And God did it. Yes, my elder brother died. I will call it a premature death. But I asked God that I want to give my elder brother a befitting burial. And my brother was buried like a king. Not just that, God did wonders. When we went to the mortuary to bring my brother, we finished everything, coming home very close to my house. They, they have this man, uh, uh, Imo stayed uh, as in the His house is very close, it's the same family. So when we got to his house, I saw about eight hillers that blocked the road. Over 50 policemen, fully armed. And so I told my elder brother, because both of us were in my vehicle. I said, maybe the king wants to welcome my late brother, because he's also a chief. So he said, yes. So we are moving. At the time, I begin to hear gunshots. More than 50 policemen, all of them were shooting at the same time. And I watched their gun. You know, when you like, you want to celebrate with gun, you take the gun up. But I saw all of them focus the gun direct to my car. And they were pouring bullets. They were pouring bullets. They were pouring bullets. We have more than 20 vehicles that were following me. I was at the front. My, the uh, ambulance that carried my brother at my back, then my junior sister vehicle also behind. And these people were raining bullets. So at the time, I watched at one. He took that gun directly to me and opened fire. And something happened. God turned the gun down. He was pouring the bullets down. What I'm telling you looks like... God. Rock at 
Yeah, I, I'm standing here today to testify. And uh, it may look like it's just a drama. But I'm telling you, my people, it's a very big war. And God showed me that if he has said, I love you, the love is forever. I have not seen something like this before. At that point, they were running this bullet. I was still moving, going close to them, and every other vehicle was following me. Until when I saw that one that was pouring that bullet that directed the gun at me, I said, no, this is no more play. I stopped. Then they now approached me and said, everybody come down. Everybody come down. I stepped down and they set their hands up. I took my hand up. Then everybody at my back took their hand up. I said, What is the matter? They said, Lie down. All of us will lie down. And then people at the back, when they saw that me, I'm already on the floor. The ones at the back turned their vehicle, started running, and they opened fire at them. I have about two people that came from Lagos here that got bullet wound. Jesus. These people were at my back. But me, my brother, that we are facing them, this bullet didn't touch us. Oh, God! Other vehicle has bullet wound. But my car, the ambulance, my sister's car, nothing touched it. Oh! And then... I now stand up. I said, what is this? Why are you doing this? Stop shooting them. Stop shooting them. They asked me, who are you? I told them who I, who, my name. And they said, eh? where are you coming from? I said, I'm coming from the mortuary. I want to take my brother. They said, where is him? I said, he's inside this car. And then my most senior brother stood up. I said, please stop shooting. And they said, how do we identify you? I said, I even have some of your men. My escort, they are here. And even the policemen that followed me, they came from Abuja. All of them followed to lie down. Oh, God! So I said, this man, this is a policeman. He's from Abuja. And the guy now stood up. I brought his ID card. And told them, sir, I'm from, uh, that is the name, the camp where they come from. And they saw their leader. He said, oh, God, all of us are in the same office now. Uh, the guy now said, hey, did you tell me? He said, how will I tell you when you open fire like this? I did not say, well, we got information that uh, some guys want to use ambulance to attack police. ESN want to use uh, ambulance to attack police. How God of mercy! So this is no more the era where they will go and attack police. So we are here. We are here. They open fire again. And I was surprised. I was cold. Everybody was cold. And I begin to look at people that got bullet wound, vehicles. They said, Oh, yeah, stand up. Everybody stand up. We stood up. We entered our vehicle and they said, We should go. We left the place, arrived home. In fact, my people, I want to say, I'm so glad 
to stand here today alive Jesus Abugiwaka Jesus Abugiwaka Jesus Abugiwaka Yes and yes Brethren Listen You see One thing I want you to know Is that the devil is always A clever rogue This is why you hear Somebody died As they are burying that one Another one died Another one died And another one died That was what the devil planned But I would say this man is a wise man because it is only the wise people that seek God but the foolish people will say it doesn't matter because you want to talk money at least somebody that can eat square meal is okay somebody that is not looking for who to dash him money to eat that is doing well is okay but he saw that after the death of his brother he knew that this is not God that enemy is at work and he seek this ministry and say I've been following this man of God I want to know the church that was how he came here and the Lord opened the revelation and gave him victory before this movement the prayer has been said that God will go ahead of them okay look at the conspiracy if they kill anybody they will say oh they were defending themselves and the nothing you want to talk about that is law will approve it's okay that is it and they can target anything but because of the creator of the whole universe that will never put himself to shame the God that said go I am with you the God that when he said go he is ahead of you oh my God because of that God that is why we have nothing to offer to him than to sing praises and to say Akai Akaya Akati Obanemema Hey, that is why wise people seek God because God will never put you to shame some trust in horses some trust in chariot some even trust after all I have my security amen amen some say I have everything but those wise people will seek God how will we feel the man that just brought this and changed atmosphere of the looking of the church and then we will hear bad news God forbid is not the God of possibility the God of possibility will not disappoint us viewers all of the world the God of possibility will not disappoint you every one of you the God of possibility will not disappoint you the creator of the heavens will not disappoint us it will only be on the last day when the Lord are through with our work on earth we will not be our own will not be a story amen hallelujah man of God I have another testimony oh but it's not today Jesus Christ yes that one is special one. Oh my god and so I just came back and I said let me not keep this one oh because it's only the living that will praise God so my people of a truth that is God and let me tell you if God did not keep a city the keeper is in vain because I have my escort around my vehicle carries police number so imagine 
I carry police vehicle, I carry police, and I have this kind of challenge. Oh! So you should know that the only place that you would be secured is in the place of God. Oh, God! And because you are here, <laughs> listening to this testimony, I don't care who is after you. Mm. I don't care who says you must die. I don't want to know the covenant of your father's house. But if God can keep me, if God can secure me and my brothers and everyone that came for that barrier, those that want to death, you will go for their barrier. Amen! Oh, let the glory be to God. That is why those that trust in the Lord, the Bible says, they shall be like Mount Zion that can never ever be moved. God bless you. Blessings on our way, 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 Hey, hey, hey. 